Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this episode, I've built another horde base, but I haven't tested it out. I still got to do the roof part. But the way it works is that what I'm hoping for is that I can hit the ones underneath without them actually coming through. But I'm going to have to make some modifications to make sure they don't come through. And I've redesigned all this. I've moved everything up here now, so there's nothing down here. Spare room for rent if anyone wants it. Now, this is a habit I do not want to start doing, leaving doors open. Now, something happened too. I was playing without recording and something showed up and it was one of those boomers. And I triggered him too. A few more have spawned. I've been playing a bit without recording. Doing boring things mainly. What I deem boring. So what I'm thinking with this, so I need to stop them coming through. Will we be that advanced? But I'm thinking on this side or the other side. If I put it on this side and they're able to crawl under it, they'll be able to hit me. So I'll have to keep moving backwards and forwards a lot. If I put it on this side, I might not be able to reach them. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'll try it on this side first. And then I have to think about the top because otherwise they'll just jump over it. Is there three quarter blocks? I don't think there is. So I'm just going to use a half block and hope that they cannot jump over it. I'll see if I can jump over it. No. Nah. No, I can't, even with mashing the crouch and all that sort of stuff. Because I'm having trouble hitting the head of the taller zombies, such as the cops, bikies, even the boomers. I've only got one layer here. I'm hoping it holds up. Also, I've been leveling quite a lot. I've got 22 skill points. I think I need a weapon, but I'm going to go with a shotgun, because I've already got max strength. I'm fighting in close combat. I'm only thinking about getting this, just to craft forge steel a little bit cheaper, but I don't really need that. Need level 8 for that one. I've got to start crafting first aid kits because I'm getting low. I'm going to have to get this because I need gas. Hmm. I haven't found any nerdy spectacles yet. I don't know what else to put it in though. I want to find nerdy spectacles first before I put points in that. I might just put it in endurance. I can get another one iron guard. I don't really need this anymore. I topped up getting that place twice in a row and I've got a third time I've got to go to. Already got enough bones and stuff. I'll put one in here. I don't think this has any use. Unless you're a multiplayer, the charismatic thing, healing factor, and pain tolerance, I think. I'm leveling up a lot, so it's not a massive deal. I need wood because I started up some new forges. I'll show you my wood farm that I created. I did it ages ago, but I haven't needed it until now. Oh, well, this road is terrible. Oh, these pieces here? You can't make them, eh? They're sloped even more. It's a shame, too, because vehicles really struggle going up those things without damaging the concrete. So this is it here. And I did it like this, and it's quite tedious to do. It's so it's easier to plant the seeds, and I can get them in a row better. And I got a level 5 chainsaw. I found this in a crate that drops from the air. I have no idea how. And I found that, too, in one of the bags from a horde nut. So I wonder how much honey I can get from this. Oh, that noise is awful. Look how good this is on them. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that noise is so unpleasant. Who thought that would be a good idea? That I don't have to worry about where to space them. That'll do. How much did I get from that? Exactly. 18,000. Huh. Interesting number to get. Swing by my base and see if that concrete's dried so I can apply another layer to it. I remember setting the loot respawn time to 10 days instead of the 30 days. Would have respawned by now, so it's been a wasted thing setting it to 10 days. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be ready before or not. What I can do is a thing that I like to do. Oh, my repair kits are done. I made lots. This is my cell bin. Uh, is there anything special worth noting here? No, not really. I don't know whether to fire all these up because screamers will start spawning in droves. And that's just something I don't really want to deal with. So I'm just going to leave them for now. I got two jars of honey from that. I would have thought I got more, but oh well. Can't be too greedy. Yeah, I concreted the whole area where I'm going to build if I'm going to build. And that way I can use it if I need to. Oh, it's sort of done now. I left the door open. I've got to stop doing that. Why am I doing that? I hate when they dry like this. Like they're all done except for one. I need to reinforce the blocks behind them. Otherwise, if they break, the hatch will fall off. Do the ones underneath it too. I'll do that thing that I said I was going to do. Okay, one thing I never really liked about this game is that when you've got your blocks like that, see how it's, um, what's the word? Got the slip. And when you ride bikes over it, you can get stuck and all sorts of things. There's a way around it. It's pretty expensive to do. Use, I think what they're called, iron sheets. Yeah, get them out. Go to advanced and like that. you got to be careful though, because I'll place up on top of the stick ones, I think, and break. This removes the lip. And you can only upgrade them once, so they're not very strong. Damn, I'm going to need a lot more than I thought I would need. Yeah, I'm going to get heaps more. But half of what I was expecting to need. Iron sheet. You could probably use other things like a metal thing. Glass even. <laughs> what do you need to upgrade them? Forged iron. Oh, this is how I set it up. And I don't like it. But 
you might like it. I just found some characters of arrows online. The thing is, when I was pasting them, I don't know what was going on, but it was actually crashing the game. And I don't think I've ever crashed the game before. So yeah, it was strange. But yeah, up arrow, down arrow. So I don't have it over the box itself. Everything's too similar. Paint them to make them look different. I keep going around like this when I've got a door right there. Oh, that's done. They can't be upgraded any more than this. That's expensive, man. Good thing you can paint them though. Already had a forged iron. It's double thick. I can't climb up on top. Will they go for me if I'm here? Let's see if I can jump up on top of it. If it's just those bottom ones. No. Hmm. A little bit worried, I will admit. I do like that. It looks kind of cool. Jank, but cool. I don't have a lot of time. I've started digging another tunnel too. It goes to here so far I've reached. I still can't craft military stuff. I haven't found the schematic for it yet. But I haven't found any coffee beans either. That's all my stone there. Packed up most of it. I got most of it out of the tunnel as well. I might seal this up. There we go. I don't think that needs to be a vault hatch. I just questioned myself, didn't I? So I'm going to have to upgrade it now. That's the problem with Horde Night every night. You don't have enough time. What little time you have just flies by, eh? Hey? You know, it worked out. On average, every episode I'm making is three hours long. I cut it down to like 15 to 22 or 23 minutes. And now when I ride over it, it's smooth. So if you go over this, you can get stuck. Oh crap, it's a screamer. Ah, oh, it's gonna scream before I can hit it. <laughs> Annoying fucking things they are. Because I used the auger to clear most of this. So the heat map around here is probably still quite high. Nothing I can really do about it until I just let it die down. I might get that other ah, uh, robotic sledge, yes. It is tougher now. It's a level six one. Can they take mods? I can. What would you even put in them? Are you it's good to have the hunter mod. I was able to start making food too, so that's been another relief and a half. Where would I put it? I'm gonna guess somewhere around here. Yeah, around there. That should kill the vultures that I should be able to see. Yeah, I'll stand about here. That should work. Should be putting a bit more forged steel down. Mm, that should be right. I haven't used this once. <laughs> Harbour plans didn't go to plan. No, it didn't go to plan. My plans didn't work out. God, some of these blocks are about to crumble. Should have this ready just in case I need it. There's something out there. What are you doing? Oh, wandering horde. Yeah, it's not like I need distractions at all. Probably shouldn't do this, eh? Prevent wandering hordes just before horde night. I had one spawn straight after horde night as well. Ah, uh, medical items. Take vitamins. Doors all shut. That one's shut, that one's shut. Okay. I found that. That's actually pretty good. Trader Joe's is now closed. Hasn't dried yet. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, it just dried then. Oh. Thank God. Hope this works. Please don't hit the walls. They're standing on it and it's moving their head up a little bit. So it means I'm probably going to miss a few headshots. Oh, forgot about those Inspector Gadget arms that they've got. Go, go, extendo arm. Yeah, those bars are annoying. The heads keep moving. I can finally get your head. Oh no, I can't go out and get him. He's going to explode. Ugh. Okay, so that's one fault of it. Just too far away to hit them. Yeah, these guys are actually really hard to kill. I don't have the rat remover mod, so only a power attack on the head will kill them. Or if I just take off the head straight away. They're not hitting on the walls, so it's working. Nothing that crawls has come yet. Feels like I'm at a bar and serving people. Serving them headshots. And he's gonna spit. Ah, oh, you missed. And they give me gifts. I give them a good service, and they give me gifts. I'm not gonna repair any, because I want to see if their hits are hitting both at the same time, or just one. And then I can work out if this is actually a way to double the durability. Maybe I should put it forward a little bit more, because as soon as they come around the corner, they're spitting at me. Arm sprain. Oh, man. And he's about to explode. Um, I'm going to go get a splint. Um, meds. Splint. There we go. That was quick. Cannot use this at this time. What's the cure for that thing? Sprained arm. This will take some time to heal. Oh, that's oh, one of these alien ones. He was hitting the wall. Always the fat ones that fall over. Every time. They're attacking the wall. Hmm. Now I've suffered an abrasion. Got to make the wall stronger. Oh, he's a big daddy. <laughs> Didn't kill him, but... There we go. Oh, the dogs just go straight over. Oh, well. Serve up some dinner. Oh, there's a Timmy down there. Got to be so careful. There we go. I can't... I can't reach him. Well, this was redundant. It's even worse than the one before. Dogs go straight over the top, too. Oh, he popped his head up. So, 
this idea was to fix this problem. This actually made it worse. Oh, when they used to hit when they're like this. Yeah, I don't think this idea works that well. I don't know what they're hitting. It sounds like they're hitting concrete. What's hitting me? Oh, this crap. Frickin' hell. That never used to happen, eh? Ever. There's something they've changed in A19 to make that happen. I don't know. I kind of wish this was a live stream right now so I could ask you for your guys' feedback as to if this can be improved or is it just a dead design. Oh, the dogs, man. It's not bad, but it's really not good either, eh? My leg's sprained. They're underneath me again. Oh, this crap, man. I can't get him. Go away. Oh, he finally sprung up. That ain't good, man. So many things are broken. Good thing I got the sledgehammer. I can buy myself time like that. I wonder why that's happening. Probably because they're getting pushed down. They're getting kind of wedged between there and it's pushing them. Kind of like when I got automatically ejected from the, the hall base that night, I got almost killed. Oh, there goes a block. That's actually kind of useful though, because if they're hitting concrete, they're not going for that, because they've still got to clear these blocks if they want to get to me. And they're bloody way tougher. I was open up some bags while I'm waiting. Oh, another level five chainsaw. I can use one for that. I, d I just don't have the range for it. I do have another design in mind to solve the crawlers problem. But I'm probably going to need traps. Basically, having a little tunnel that they can walk around and get to me. They can crawl to me. But fill that spot with traps. And hopefully they die before they reach me. But whether they'll use it is another thing. It's almost the end of Horde Night. Got an idea. This is probably a bad idea because I'd probably start attacking through here. Oh, what a time for it to run out of juice. There we go. See if they crawl in through there. Hopefully some spawn. Need a Timmy and a dog to come through. And hopefully they're not just... Ah, oh, they're running around it good. Come on, Timmies. I think less bags are spawning because I'm not killing as many. Because they're a lot tougher. Well, I thought they were tougher. They're supposed to be one of the tougher zombies in the game. Come on, Timmies. The more I kill, more likely they are to spawn. I think that issue would probably have solved itself if I dropped these bottom two. Because then it won't push them under the floor. Typical. I make this doorway. Nothing spawns that I want to spawn. Well, it worked, but it, not for the purpose I wanted it to work. Ah, oh, see? He's about to explode and I can't reach him. There's nothing I can do. Because these are just too thick. I do like how I can open them. You can just double tap like that. Uh, these got damage too. If I'm going to make another one, I've got to put it further back. Because I don't want these to get broken. They're expensive to make. Oh well. Hopefully I've got something decent. It's not like it's costing me much to do these horde knights. Literally concrete some steel. What the hell? Oh. I'm finding a lot of level 6 steel stuff. Oh, level 5 military boots. Sweet. And none of these fell. Maybe the damage isn't distributed. Maybe it is. Maybe that's why I didn't have to repair it. And I got a lot of injuries and I'm overweight. Just like in real life. The reason I have these repair kits in here is because a lot of the stuff will sell for a lot more if I repair it. Like this helmet, I'll probably go for 1800 if I repair it. This will go for over 1000 I'll show you an example in a second. The annoying thing about this point of the game where you have a lot more stuff, you have to bounce around between these storage systems. That's crazy, man. I've never seen that ever. It's probably because I got the loot high, so it doubled up. Oh, it's only at 150%. I think I lowered it. I'm getting low on cash too, so I'm probably going to have to go sell this very soon. I put my canned foods in here because I can't be bothered going through them and working out which ones are used in recipes and which ones aren't. I think I need a box separate that I can put my stuff in that I can just grab for Horde Night, which is things like med kits, antibiotics, splints, some food, water, some steel, concrete for repairs and that. I can switch over to these boots, can't I? Oh no, me high performance running shoes. It's only stamina regen when running. I will still keep these though. Crap, almost forgot. Gotta make them pink. Oh, she's starting to look like a bit of a badass. Looks like the college jacket goes underneath so it doesn't make you look like a oompa loompa. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. I don't know if I need to carry around an axe anymore. I used to use them to knock down doors, but this sledgehammer just does it so much better. I might go sell a whole bunch of stuff. These items I'm gonna keep just in case. Okay, bottle of booze. I don't, know, I don't have any candies for bartering. Oh wait, bartering, yeah I do. All right, I'll show you what I mean. I don't know how many of you actually know this. So what would be a good example? Okay, so this 470, if I repair it, 1289 just from one repair kit. So sometimes it's worth it. But this, it's only 78 if I repair it, 126, so extra 50. Yeah, it's not worth it. But most of these will be worth it, I think. Another way you can make a lot of money is making dart ammo because it just requires iron and clay. Good way to clear out spare iron, but that's something I don't have. It's something I haven't been mining at all. All the stuff I've got has just been during the stages of actually being auto mining. Sorry, but I've never heard of a stim pack. 
Thin pack. <laughs> it's a reference to Fallout. Okay, eat those. Drink this. Okay, time to sell everything. Well, I almost got 35,000, I think was close. Leveled up to. Anvil. It's the time to buy things too, eh? Even if I don't really need them. First time in the snow. Day 37. Do I need snow for anything? Snow. Recipes. Yucca smoothie. Ah, oh, screw this. Be quickly just to auger it. Nah, yeah, I should do. 2,000. I might go do the hospital. I would have respawned by now even if I was at 30 days because I hit it right at the start of the game. Well, that loot box is just up there. Should be able to grab that, get the hospital stuff, and then get back. Whoa. Wow, crates never used to be this good, man. Level 6 military boots. Ladder's still here. I wonder what the quality of the loot's going to be. Hopefully it's going to be up to par with my level. Oh. Oh. That ain't good. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I haven't got any med kits or anything. I've got him. No! That was really not good. Oh, did they have a med kit? They had those bandages. Oh, six steel knuckles, not bad. That just got me nice and injured right before Horde Night. Ooh, a book that I don't have. Caracopter accessories. That went really bad, eh? Got an infection. That'll sort it. Oh, that went terribly. I really need to get a gun. Because, yeah, that's just... I ain't dying here. Yeah, I'm going to need a gun. Well, this books into a shotgun. Should just make one. I haven't used that auto shotgun before. I wonder what it's like. I wonder what horde base I should use. I might try that other one again. Oh, it's a level 4 auto shotgun. How much does it take to make one? I can't even make it. Because it's just going to have to do. I have barely any mods for this. That'll do. Wrap. Oh, the bag's here still. Oh no. Ammo. Oh no, my whole base has changed. I decided just to do the night. Fixed it up and made this using bars. There's four there on each one. And I have a feeling it's not going to work. Because they're probably just going to go through the sidewall. <laughs> and I'll be fucked. <laughs> Let's see, I'll stand here. So they'll start coming this way. Uh, there's a cop right there. No! They're going for the walls. It's not going to work, friends. <laughs> Bail. I had a feeling that would happen. It's funny that the zombies are smart enough to know what's stronger, concrete and steel. They must go to zombie camp and learn these things. I really didn't want to do Horde Night here. Oh no, my turret's over there killing things. I had it there to stop the screamers coming in. Uh oh. Suicide guy. I can't hit his head. I'm just hitting the frickin' roof. I keep hitting the roof. Mmm. I've got a shotgun, but I know that will trigger them. I don't know where the trigger is exactly. Oh, it's on his chest. Oh yeah, just keep freaking hitting the freaking roof. Oh, finally. I was too worried about aiming lower, because that's where the freaking thing is, but it's what I have to do. So this is why I'm trying to redesign this. Ah, uh, another one. God, he takes a lot of punishment. Oh, crap. Oh. Holes. Can't get to them in time. There's too many in the way. Oh, they started wailing on the wall. Why? Oh. Why are they wailing on the wall for? Oh, because there's a hole in the floor. Ow. Medication. Almost over. Is that it? The first bag is always this, a lucky goggles. I don't know why. I didn't get many bags that time. Yeah, I didn't get anywhere near as many bags that time. Wonder why. Oh, what the hell? Ow. I can't figure out how they got in. Dump and go, because I can't be bothered. But that's enough for this episode. And the next one, I'm going to figure out how I can get this working. Because I'm hoping I can be able to hit them underneath. And they can't jump over. Might be just a matter of making it three thick. I'm going to try making it three thick. If that doesn't work, I'm just going to have to use steel. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.